My name is Georgina Terry. I'm a business coach for entrepreneurs. I work with um, entrepreneurs, aspiring and established, um, who've been in business, say, up to five years. And I help them turn doubt and uncertainty into confidence and clarity to help them grow their businesses, either from an idea to reality or from their early stages into business growth. Well, we've been working with, um, with clients who wanted to start businesses and they were struggling. And then my own journey, so I've been in business for 17 years and coming over the fear of can I do this, can I be successful and jumping into the entrepreneurial world, I then realised I'm not too sure what I'm really doing. <laughs> um, I knew what marketing and sales was from an from a academic perspective, what did it really mean? And then realising that I needed more support, I needed more support to make this business grow. And I said, well, I can't be the only person in this situation. And I said, and then for my clients, what, when they come to me from a career perspective, they had this aspiration of starting businesses and there was this trend. So I noticed that a lot of business books had um, all the guidance on what it took to start a business. But they didn't talk about the entrepreneur. And so I said, well, there's a piece that's missing. And it's like, when I do sort of speaking, um, into like inspirational speaking, I talk about it's like having a car. And I use a racing car because the book's the race, race, right? So, and I have a racing car, you've got all the components to put the car together. You make the car, um, you built the car, the car's ready there, the keys of the ignition, it's purring. And then you get in the car and you can't drive. So, the book talks to three kind of main aspects getting yourself ready, what is your passion? Because I'm known as the passion to profitability expert. So what is your passion? What is your vision for your entire life, not just the business? What finances do you need to put in place? Things like that. So that's the first part of the book. Then the second part of the book is getting the business ready, making the business come. What are the operations? Um, what is the product? Who's your idle market? And this can be whether you've started a business or already in business. And then the last part is transitioning from employee mindset to entrepreneurial mindset, because it's two different ways of thinking. fully know what it is. So one of the questions I normally would ask clients will be, what would you do for an entire year if you could not get paid for your time? How would you spend that time if you could not get paid for it? And then people and then ask me to look at what do you do, what do you do in your spare time? What look at your books. What are your, what are your books? What's the story of your books telling you? Because your books will tell you what you're interested in. Um, what do you talk about non-stop? So I have a client right now, she's into fashion. So she's, um, she's into her career is in sports. But she's enjoyed fashion her entire life. That's what she loves, that's what she does. So look at what, look at, as you take, sort of stand outside of yourself and look at you and say, okay, what do I do and, and with my time and without getting paid? And that's one of the early, easier indications of working out what your passion is. be profitable. So it's understanding what that passion is and then seeing if people were willing to buy it, to buy what the service is, what the product is. And so canvassing people. So like for example I had someone who came to me before and she did a lot of wedding events. Now she has people coming to her all the time. She doesn't, she doesn't get paid for it. People come to her all the time. So she's got a ready market already. So understand what the service is then or product, and then see if people are willing to buy it. Because a passion is not necessarily a business opportunity. Once you see if you've got a following, who's your ideal client, and then test what would they pay for this? Will, will what they pay be more than the cost of making it or your time? And then from that, you can test and see is it viable for a business? 